Good morning. Welcome back to Chocolata Park here in Oxford, Alabama. As we are on day one of the state championships in week two for Alabama Rank League. We have an honor this morning of sitting with Gardell A.U. White, Coach Arrington. Coach, thank you for sitting in with us. I know you've been on the field. As you stated, it's hot out there. Uh, it's a long hour, hour and 15 minutes of a baseball game, but hey, we hope you're having fun and we hope, hope you're enjoying being here. Uh, that being said, uh, before you got into the game, you got, you're ready, you're pumped up. Well, take us through that pregame speech for these guys and, and your team this morning. Well, we wanted to make sure all these guys stayed good and hydrated and got ready for the, and got warmed up, get the spirits up high, get them pumped up, get them out there ready to play some good defense, hit the ball well, we warm them up with, the, with some weighted balls and let them swing hard at them. Then we, uh, we just try to get, make sure we go out there and we do our best and put all our effort forward and, um, and put the best foot, you know, do the best they can but, and, and make sure we have fun and if we come away with a win, that's a, that's a bonus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you got one game in and, and you got another full game being played uh, later and then we go into bracket play later this week. Uh, most importantly, uh, I think it's important that we also remember that baseball teaches life lessons and sometimes it's not about winning and losing, it's where we go and, and what we teach these guys. What would you say is, is the direction and, and things that you want these guys to remember from this season? Well, I think we one of our biggest goals, and we told them when we was up front, I said, we wanted to improve their skills this season, this little short all-star season. You know, get them into some different positions that maybe they played before teach them new skills, uh, learn to, to you know, do their best everywhere yeah. on all the spots, no matter where we move them to. Also, we want to, you know, part of that is them giving, learning to back each other up and form a team and support their teammates. And I think they've done a great job of that this year. They've really formed a team, even though they got thrown together from, you know, six different teams, they yes, came sir. together very quickly became a, and became a unit, which was great. Well, um, we, we also talked to you, you know, prior to your arrival and said, hey coach, uh, we look forward to meeting you and, and talking with you, but bring in a couple guys that really mean a lot to the team and, and are all stars on the team. So walk us through who you got with you here today, coach. Well, in the end here, I have KJ. He's uh, um, done a great job this year. He's um, made a lot of good plays for us and hit a lot of really hard balls. I got, and then I got Jace here. Um, and he's also, he's a, he's a very great defensive player. He's made some great plays, caught some good balls, made a lot of outs for us. Can, and um, right now he's my lead off hitter, so. Yes, sir. KJ, what position are we playing, Bo? First base. Uh, what's your, uh, what's your favorite food? Burger. Burger, do you like, what do you want on your burger? Lettuce. You got a favorite baseball team? Uh, yeah. Who's that? Oh, uh, the Braves. The Braves. You got a favorite player on the Braves? Yes, sir. Who's that? Walker Cooney Jr. Cooney Jr. We hear that a lot, folks. Jace, what's your position? Second. You guys are kind of buddies right there, getting all these outs, right? <laughs> uh, what's your favorite food? Chicken casserole. Chicken casserole. You like the Braves too? Yeah. You got a favorite? I don't play the Braves. You do? Who's your favorite player? Freddie Freeman, but even though he left, he was. He went to the Dodgers. You know who the Braves play starting tomorrow? Dodgers. Dodgers. Yeah. Freddie Freeman is back in town. I was like, this is actually going to be an interesting match because Freddie Freeman was on the Braves once, but then he left yeah. to join the Dodgers. So this is going to be interesting. He just Who's going to win, the Braves or the Dodgers? Probably the Braves. The Braves, the Braves because they got they know a little bit about Freddie Freeman. They, so they know they, they, he probably hit hard. He probably hit deep. He probably he probably good at everything. He probably not good at everything. He's probably good at one base. He's probably good at all bases. Well, I hope the Braves <laughs> figure Freddie Freeman out, um, and I hope we sweep the Dodgers. What do you think about that? Meet yeah. them all. That would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be great too. And the Braves won 14 in a row. They did. And they won 
17 games total this month. They're 17 and three in the month of June. Wow. So maybe we can beat the Giants tonight, beat the Dodgers, and be 21 and three just like that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Right? Wow. Now, uh, Coach, while you're in town over here in Oxford, a couple things we want to remind you of. A couple of venues that have joined with us and sponsorship and help us with some discounted rates. Big time entertainment just up the road. The next exit up and. They have go cards and neon bowling and arcades and, and different things for our children to enjoy. The players, when they cool down, they uh, offer a 25% off uh, bundle, group bundle. There's also a wooden bat collegiate summer league here in Oxford, which is you pass it coming in. They play right up the street up there in the stadium. And the Chocolate Monsters play there. They have discounted ticket prices of $11, which includes a hat for the players to get in while they're home playing. So, a couple things we want to throw out there to remind you and your, your families. Guys, more importantly, we want to give out a baseball card to either, both of you guys, okay? That's our way of saying thank you for, for coming up here. And it's much cooler up here than out down on the field, but it's a way to say thank you for taking your time out away from your, your teammates, okay? Can I get a fist bump for good luck? Okay? Coach, once again, thank you for sitting in with us. Thank you for playing baseball with us. And hope the rest of your week is fun. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you.